But the new image of the police was to make them unacceptable in many parts of the province. At the same time, there began a train of physical destruction which has not yet ended. In August 1969, as the situation in Ulster looked close to civil war, Whitehall, long indifferent to the province, sent in the army to keep the peace. We are friends of everybody. We take no sides. I have laid these orders down extremely strictly. Everybody knows them. They're left in no doubt whatsoever at all about it. And as for the honeymoon period, how long the soldiers might become the target for everybody will depend on the politicians. The honeymoon was soon over. Heavy rioting succeeded the street tea parties, and the army was compelled to declare a curfew. On Sunday, January the 30th, 1972, after a banned civil rights march in the city, crowds at the edge of the bog side began stoning troops. The army first fired CS gas and rubber bullets to disperse them. The trouble escalated and water cannon were used to break up the crowds. Then it was decided to send paratroopers into the bog site on an arrest mission. What happened then is in dispute. The army said they were fired upon. The local people said they were not. What is not in dispute is that the paratroopers later opened up massive and deadly fire. The cost of bombing which the provisionals loosed on Belfast on Friday, July the 21st, 1972, followed their disappointment at the result of a secret meeting between Whitelaw and the IRA leaders. A child who was 10 when this trouble started in our province is now a young uh, man of 20. And so at a very formative time in his life, he has learnt that violence is an acceptable and a successful way of life. Violence should be stopped by some means and then the reforms brought in at a later stage. But what we have now is a generation of young people in their late teens and early twenties who have been taught to hate and we're going to have another generation of bigots because of this and grand hatred. To the gates of heaven, deliver his soul, our Lord. Lord, the sermon I'm glad to visit you. I will be Jesus. In the name of God, take your son, John, and grab this man. I'll send him off to the left, I've got the right. Troops and police are still under sporadic attack from gunfire and blast bombs.
concern in that, um, in, in, in the event of public indifference, uh, being able to uh, open up any kind of campaign again, I think is always that concern. Well, we would have preferred to do all of this. The army finally moved out of Bestbrook in South Armagh today, closing the door on the longest single operation in British military history. We don't get sentimental about these things, um, but the helicopter flew out of the base on Friday, and the last foot patrol, a joint one with police, was carried out from the former Bestbrook Mill 11 days ago. But the departure of troops from South Armagh after nearly four decades is still a major milestone on the road to normality. We don't get sentimental about this.